Hey lovelies, so not so much my normal first impressions video because I have actually used this product before. However, I have not used it in I think the last two to three years, maybe even longer. But I just happened to be in Trader Joe. I saw it and I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it again. I remember having a good experience with it. I'm not sure why I stopped using it. Maybe because I couldn't find it anymore. I think that's what it was. And then I kept seeing it and then they would go away and I was like, eh, whatever. But I decided to pick it back up. It is their Trader Joe Blueberry and Acai Facial Scrub. And I remember this just smelling so much like just a blueberry muffin. And I'm, I'm hoping it's still that experience. And I remember it being a pretty good exfoliator and only costing, I think it was less than six bucks. May have been seven, but I think it was like less than that. And I just love the frosted glass. And then I think the top, like the glass changed a little bit, but you get two fluid ounces and I think, I think it was six something. I love it. it smells the same. Oh, that smells so good. So, so good. Um, blueberry acai berry with AHAs to remove dry, dead, um, dry, dull skin cells and refresh your appearance of your complexion. This exfoliating scrub will leave your skin feeling polished, smooth, and vibrant. Plus, it smells delicious. Yes, it does. Uh, great for all skin types and can be used two to three times a week for best results. I might have to go get a few more of these. Oh my gosh. Not even on my face and it smells delicious. I put on way too much. I guess let me show you guys the texture first. So that's the texture. Exactly kind of how I remember. Actually, I think, again, it's been a while and I'll have the link to that old video on here, but um, I feel like it's a little thicker now little thicker but still it doesn't smell as sweet as I remember no don't get me wrong it's it's very um muffin smelling but I remember it being like higher notes of sweetness either way I'm ready to put this on and I'm just gonna go in oh yeah that definitely feels a little thicker than what I remember. I'm also blind and can't see. I'm just using the viewfinder of my camera. So um, y'all gonna have to excuse me because I can't see a thing. Also, I wish it told you how much AHA and BHA was in here. I'll have to research it and see if I can find it. feels so good oh there's the stinging okay mm-hmm it's not like a uh, intense sting so I can definitely I definitely know this is a lower um, concentration which is good for uh, beginners I will say this is probably a little bit more forgiving than the first time I used it that one I really think either my skin was that congested or this formulation was a lot stronger. Like I said, this one does feel a lot more creamier, so I wonder how the ingredients have changed a little bit, but it does feel more soothing. I'm gonna leave this on for... It does not say. So, in that case, I normally leave it on for five to 10 minutes, so probably 10 minutes, and I will tell you guys what I think when I get back. So it is almost time for me to take this off. I'm just letting it finish drying down, but it's been on for about like seven minutes and it's already drying. But I was just kind of reading the back and I love that the first in few ingredients get straight to the point. So it's water, the blueberries, oatmeal, citric acid, uh, malic acid, lactic acid, some other things. And then it goes into shea butter, bananas, acai, um, and then some more stuff during, further down the list. Again, this thing smells amazing. It definitely does have a tingling sensation, so there's definitely those AHAs in there. Um, because you can use it two to three times a week, I know it is definitely not as strong as, say, your um, some like 
the ordinary vampire one, whichever, what is that, the AHA 30 and BHA something. The ordinary peeling uh, solution and then definitely not as strong as a drunk elephant, but it does the job. Just like I remember, it smells amazing and it's very affordable. I'm pretty sure I'm about to go back to Trader and get like two or three more just because I don't know. I feel like this is seasonal. Now that I think about it, this may be a seasonal item. So I think I'm going to get like two more, two or three more. Because again, if you don't open it, the shelf life is longer, at least a year. So yeah, if you don't open it, you do have a longer shelf life. And I think I'm pretty much going that route because um, Ordinary has proved that cheap uh, works just as good as expensive ones like while I love my drunk elephant she's way too expensive and I will not be doing that again um but I like this I like this this can coincide very well with the ordinary peeling but I'm going to take this off yeah we're pretty much dry now so I'm gonna take this off give you my final thoughts BRB okay a couple things now that I remember um if you're gonna do this, rinse it off either in the shower or have a rag, towel, whatever, because you're gonna have some bits and pieces get stuck and not want to come off. I'll say especially little seeds that can kind of get stuck either in the eyebrows, the hairline. But yeah. Skin feels pretty nice, pretty soft, doesn't feel stripped, that's another plus. Oh, I miss this product so much. But yeah, that is my first impression after two plus years of the Trader Joe Blueberry and Acai Facial Scrub. It is still just as wonderful as I remember. If you guys have a Trader Joe near you, I would definitely check this out, especially if you're looking for a chemical exfoliant. And if you have sensitive skin, just don't leave it on as long. If you're like me and you're used to a more harsher AHAs, BHAs, um, or higher concentration of those, uh, you can still benefit from this. Like, like it said, you can use it multiple times a week. It smells amazing. Ah. Okay. So I'm going to finish my routine, get ready for bed, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys know when I release a new videos. And until next time, guys.